grasshopper? Oh, hi, Dr. Scalpel. Hi, Thumbs. So, what's up today? Oh, you know, just my normal day, feeling useless in the OR. I can't even cut sutures. What happened? Just that. They asked me to cut a stitch, and I tried my best, but it just wouldn't cut. The surgeon took the scissors himself and cut the suture, just like that. Then, they didn't let me do anything else for the rest of the day. Oh dear, sounds like you need a bit of teaching. I know we have some scissors around here somewhere. Ah, there they are. Great, it's been a long day, so I'll sit down for a change, and Thumbs can do the honors. I'll add my pearls of wisdom as required. Thanks, boss. I love to teach. Okay, Alex, let's talk scissors. Obviously, scissors are used to cut things. There are two basic types, tissue scissors and suture scissors. Tissue scissors are usually fine and light, like this nice pair of Metzenbaum scissors. Suture scissors are usually heavier, like this pair of males. It's important not to mix the two types up. That's a real rookie mistake in the OR. Never use tissue scissors to cut suture. Never use suture scissors on tissue. Even I've never done that, Dr. Scalpel. Let's look at how we use tissue scissors to dissect tissue. You put your thumb here and your ring finger here, and then use the scissor tips to gently spread the tissue planes apart. When you're ready to cut, Reverse the action and use the tips to cut, okay? It looks pretty easy. It might look easy, Alex, but it takes a long time to master. Knowing how to recognize tissue, planes, and when and where to cut. That's right, boss. Okay, Alex, now let's talk about the medical student's favorite job, using suture scissors to cut stitches. Great. Take a look at this pair of male suture scissors. The blades are straight, and they join in the middle, just like a regular pair of household scissors. You work them just like a pair of regular scissors, too. Okay, but how do I know when I should cut? Well, the first rule is you never cut anything in the OR unless you're asked to. When you see the surgeon suturing or tying off tissue in a clamp or tying a knot, you can be pretty sure you will soon need to cut sutures. Sometimes the nurse will notice before you do and will put a pair of suture scissors in your hand. When the surgeon is ready, they will gently say cut, and that's your cue to go. Like this. Cut. Yep, just like that. You can study the scissors by using your index finger or by resting one hand on the other. That will stop your hand shaking. The surgeon will be holding the suture up ready to be cut. So put the tip of the scissor right on the suture and snip. But why didn't my scissors work in the OR? It might be this. You can make the straight scissors work if you use the fulcrum. Just push with your thumb a little, and that will make the blades come together better at the tip and cut really nicely. Snip! Wow, that's a great tip! Okay, you should be an expert on scissors now. Oh, I have one more question. How long should I cut the sutures? I'll let the boss handle that. Well, you have two choices. They can be too long or too short. Uh, really? Can't I just cut them the right length? Sorry, Alex. Just my little joke. I like my sutures cut to half a centimeter. But if you're not sure, just ask the surgeon. And if you're still not sure, it's best to leave them a bit longer. Just don't cut them really short. You must never cut through the knot. Okay, Alex. Tell us what you learned about scissors today. Okay, here we go. Number one, there are two types of scissors, tissue and suture. Don't mix them up. Number two, tissue scissors are used to dissect tissue and cut. Number three, suture scissors are heavier and are for cutting suture. Number four, be ready to cut, but only cut when you're asked to. Number five, don't cut your sutures too short. Number six, oh, and squeeze to cut. By Jove, I think she's got it. We're so proud of you, Alex. You've come a long way in a short time. You guys are great. You really think I could be a surgeon? I think you can do anything you set your mind to, Alex. I would be happy to have you on our team in the future. Hey, have you considered applying for a surgical residency? 
Well, maybe. There's plenty of time to talk about that. Now, team, let's get to the OR. We have patients waiting.